Hey fellow enthusiasts, I'm Ryan, aka Blue Devil. Thanks for stopping by. I finally made the switch over to Extreme Hardware, so you'll be seeing a lot more of this pretty face. Today what I have is the Creative SFX GC7, a desktop audio interface with Creative Super X5 baked right in. Thanks to Creative for sending over the sample for Extreme Hardware to take a look at. Audio interfaces are not a completely new concept, but ones that would surely make it less difficult to do something that's frequently cumbersome are few and a long way off. So Creative set out to make a audio interface that's easy to use on the fly. Creative has made some DAC amp combos in the past that get within striking distance, like the Sound Blaster X3. Where the X3 falls short is quick changes which you would need to do in game. The X3 nonetheless has the ability to do the same as the GC7, however, it's easier to do with the GC7. The format of the Sound Blaster GC7 is an uncomplicated, simple design with a completely mixer-like appearance. Having three dials, the left used for volume, the right used for proper game voice blending control, the middle dial for EFX control panel for individualized customization, which has a red LED display. Other buttons consist of the C1 through C4 buttons, which are programmable for definitely anything, whether it be to change your lighting or change cameras if you have multiple in your setup. On the right is a mic mute button, handy for those loud freaking peeps that interrupt your streams. In the front of the GC7, there are four indicator lights telling you which device you're controlling, allowing for very speedy adjustments at the same time while in game. Just under the mic mute button is a mic and headphone input. On the back of the GC7, we see the line output, mobile line input, high and low gains, optical in and output, USB type C input, and a physical device on off switch. The angle that the GC7 is on makes it easier for users to customize quickly in game. What sets the GC7 apart from many of other creatives offerings? It's the integration of battle mode and scout mode, which allows users to hear things that they haven't heard before, netting them an advantage on the battlefield. Almost feels like cheating but it's not. Other features of the GC7 include a dual DSP for clear and more powerful sound, 5.1 and 7.1 headset support, and how could I forget, the GC7 includes Super X5. In short, it changes the rules of first person gaming. Think about the positional audio in any headset. I'll provide a link in the description below to further explain Super X5 in more detail. Therefore, configuring the GC7 is a breeze. Connect the USB Type-C cable to the back of any PC, plug in my favorite headset, press the power button, and that's it. The GC7 even has a USB-C to A cable, includes a optical cable and a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input cable. For the full experience, download the Creative app for more control and customization. The Creative application allows you to control all aspects of the GC7 and check for firmware updates. The GC7 will even run on Mac, Nintendo Switch, and PS4 and 5 via the optical output. Obviously, I use my gaming PC. The GC7 is able to play back 24-bit audio in high resolution at a sampling rate of 192 kilohertz and record from all of its inputs, so in my opinion, there will be no loss of sound quality. The equalizer or sound curve will change according to the game or the type of music you're listening to. If additional tuning is required, the acoustic engine allows for that. Personally, I like to add a little bit more bass and treble. Creative seems to have made the GC7 from adopting the X3 and making it better and more suitable for streamers seeking real-time audio adjustments. Creative does exactly just that. The GC7 is priced at $169.99 US, which is about $30 more expensive than the X3. But for the added features, I think it's worth it. Okay, guys, this is my look at Creative Sound Blaster GC7. If you can like and subscribe, that'd be great. I will see you in the next one.